Well, hello guys, it's David, and I'm back with a new video, of course. And today, after much thought processing and considering, I decided to make a part three to my my working at Subway experience series. And now, I would have done this video ages ago, but I left my Subway hat while in college. I left it at home, and I just I just had to wear it in the video. There we go. That is... That's right and tight. And don't worry, I'm not just gonna keep making these Subway videos until the day I die. Like, this is the last video I will make. This is the last time you're ever gonna hear about Rinky Dink Subway um, in anywhere on my channel. So there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes and food service. A lot that you don't see that makes everything happen and run so smoothly. And there's some things that you may figure out while working at a food service restaurant and reconsider ever eating their food. Obviously, I'm not just talking in general, so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I mean. So my ex-manager that I used to work with had been there for like two years. He was like one of those OG subway workers. He was cool, I got along with him, you know, it was whatever. But sometimes he would just do things that just made me question how he got into this management position. I remember one time he was taking out the um, cooked bread from that had just been done cooling down. He was gonna put it in the bread um, container and I guess he made like a false hand gesture because the whole plate of um, the whole pan of like the five foot long bread pieces just fell on the floor and he was just like shit why did this have to happen to me? So I thought, you know, he was going to throw them away because why would you use bread that's been on the floor and serve it to customers? But lo and behold, he decides to put them back into the bread container. I was just like, mm, that was a little bold of you considering there's cameras around this entire store. Was that one mistake really worth somebody getting sick over or you losing your job because the... Um, person above you decided to check the cameras this one time, like, just throw them away, it's not costing you any money. To me, there's too many people out here that, like, don't take their jobs seriously, and it's like, obviously you're working here because you either need money or you can't get a job higher up that pays better, so, you know, maybe it's just me, but even little jobs, like, food service jobs, I take, like, really seriously because, like, why would I want to be let go? Aside from the knowledge you gain and the appreciation for earning your own money, like, I would, I just wish people would take things more seriously, I don't know. That was really the only time I didn't agree with something he did, you know, he was just one of those, um, stoner subway guys in the, like their early 30s with like a bunch of tattoos that always carries around a pack of cigarettes and a big ass Mountain Dew. And some people out there might find this next story weird, but this is just how it went down. So the majority of the shifts that I worked at Subway were closing shifts in which I got off at 11 o'clock and my manager, who I later found out always walked to work, he lived like a few miles away. It was no big deal. When we started getting like somewhat close, I guess, he started asking me for rides and at first I was just like, what? But I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm courteous. I'll, I'll give you a ride, whatever. But the funny side to this is, whenever he pissed me off or like I just wasn't feeling him that day, I had the option to refuse him a ride. But I mean, if it was like pouring raining, then I'm not gonna be a dick and just say, you know what? I didn't like the way you were talking to me earlier. You had an attitude. You're not getting a ride, and you're gonna go home soaked. Moving on to this clown ass dude that I really didn't like who worked at Subway. I have never in my life met somebody so annoying. Like, I want, I don't want you to experience it because that would just be tragic for you, but I want you to understand, I want you people to understand how hard it was to communicate and be in a controlled environment with this dude. He was just this power hungry, delusional fool because he really believed that he could boss people around and you're not even in a management position. So like, why am I answering to you? Every sentence that came out of his mouth was, David, I'm gonna need you to do this. David, after this you need to, no, I'm gonna need you to stop right there and acting like you have any authority over me, like you signed my check. And when I tell you this guy was a clown, he was literally like everything that came out of his mouth 
was laughable and cringeworthy. It boggled my mind why anybody would want to associate with somebody like that. Literally, if we were on the line and I was beside him, I was making somebody sub, he would st literally like take the paper that the sub was on, slide it over in his area and be like, I got this, you go over there and do something. And I was like, yo, if, please don't ever disrespect me like that because there will be a problem. He really just loved to taunt me like I was his eight-year-old cousin with no sense. Like, just because I'm younger than you doesn't mean anything. I'm still an adult. You need to give me the same respect. Not to mention, this dude was 24 years old with the biggest gut you've ever seen on somebody bragging about how he could run a mile in like five minutes. I'm like, dude, sit your ass down. You can't even drive a mile in five minutes because your big ass stomach hangs over the steering wheel. I cannot name you how many times I wanted to put my hands on this dude because at some points he was just out of line disrespectful. And I'm like, how did you not get written up for saying, for talking to me like that? Just so I can end on a positive note, I will say I did like the fact that at the end of every day, when we were closing, I got to take all the sweet tea um, that I wanted for myself because they were going to throw it out anyway. So, you know, when you get to go home with a huge amount of tea, um, you just had the best day. But anyways, I am done with this series. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and share all down below and all that stuff. Make sure to follow Arthur the Beagle. On Instagram, Arthur, you gotta, you gotta show the people your face so they know you're cute. Anyways, follow him on Instagram, and I will see you guys next time. And I would just like to let inform, I would just like to inform you that if you're basic, you should just face that shit. Goodbye. I don't know what you